Okay, Kat, I, I wanted I want to kind of unpack something here because I'm sure a lot of people in the mining industry, of course, they know all about autonomous vehicles as a concept, and they a lot of people have probably seen them operating. But I'd really like to have sort of an actual technical scope of what Pronto is bringing on to site. What what's the physical things that are going on to the vehicle? What is it, what's the technology being used? Sort of that whole that whole plethora of things. Yeah. So. Pronto is an autonomy company and we specialize in retrofitting mining trucks. Uh, what this means is that we create a bolt-on kit that will drive the truck, you know, from the loader or excavator and have it dump in a stockpile or a hopper. Um, so we're able to create what's called a drive-by-wire kit. And that's like our compute system plus actuators. So we're able to actuate the steering and the throttle and the brakes. Um, for a variety of trucks. So we're able to do many different models. Um, and then this allows you to convert your existing fleet uh, into autonomous vehicles. So, and then then what about, okay, so that's sort of those, those physical controls. And then what what is sort of, I, I imagine that we've got cameras and sensors and all that sort of thing. And that is getting put onto the outside of the vehicle then? Yeah, so we have what's called a longhorn. Um, what this is, is it's like a, a structure that we bolt onto the outside of the truck. Um, so it's a compute system in the center. There's like a yellow box. That's kind of the brains of the whole operation. Um, we've got a large LTE antenna that allows it to have connectivity to this site and to our home base uh, and all the other vehicles on the site. Um, there's a cooling system actually for the compute system. Um, that allows us to push clean air, not dusty air, uh, through it. Where we also have um, two GPS antennas on either end, the like white puck-shaped things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and those are uh, that allows us to have really high precision GPS and heading. Um, and we also have these signal lights on the edges. So the signal lights allow you to see visually, you know, what the truck is doing. So blue means the truck is engaged. It's, uh, it's autonomous. It may be parked, maybe moving, but, you know, it's, there are no driver inputs being used. Uh, green means the truck is manual. That's, you know, if it's parked, it's parked. If it's driving, there's a person driving it. And amber signifies whether or not the parking brake is set. So if the parking brake is on, this amber light is on. And you know that the truck is safe to approach. Wow! And then, and then, what about the camera setup? It the that itself that's actually being put into the vehicle. Yeah. So we actually have six cameras, so that we have a three hundred sixty degree view uh, at all times. So the main camera is behind the windshield that allows us to use the windshield wipers, keep it clean, mm. um, it's safe, all of that. And so that kind of sees the way that a driver does. We also have a camera in the rear underneath the bin. So that allows us to see where we're backing up and you know, is it clear? Um, and also as we're dumping, we can see the material there. Uh, in addition, we have two cameras on either side, one kind of like facing forward, one facing back. And that allows us to see, are there people near the truck next to the truck that you, know, you can't see in the other camera angles? And that uh, gives us a really clear picture of everything that's going on around the truck. So I, I guess you have to ask what, because the one vehicle's inside, so you can use the windshield wipers with camera being such a cameras being such a core of the technology. What about um, what about the the weather conditions and things like that outside the vehicle? Yeah, great question. Um, so for the upper cameras, they'll stay pretty clean. Um, the rear camera, it's part of a, a initial shift inspection, make sure it's clean. Uh, we have a cover on it as well. So oh, I see. Okay. So why why use the cameras as opposed to now? You're using a G GPS system for location. You're using a, a camera system for visual. And and why why specific, why go use the cameras as opposed to I mean I, I don't know like I had a car that parked itself. I believe it was just using sensors to do it. Um, so why did Pronto choose to go with the camera system? Great question. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that we kept our hardware as simple as possible and make our software as smart as possible. So cameras are very durable and they're very versatile. Um, you can see a huge variety of things. You can see what's the drivable area. You can see who's around me. Is it a person? Is it a vehicle? Is there an animal? Is there a piece of debris? Um, and so you, you get a huge amount of information from this that you would not be able to get from other sensors. And it's also super durable. Um, in addition, we're able to see a lot of like when we, we know when we don't know something, if that makes sense. So we're able to see like 
it's occluded, it's too dusty, maybe it's completely covered. Uh, we're able to tell when the truck is unsure and we're able to bring it to a safe stop there. Right, yeah. So this video I um, I got sent to me, it, it's showing, I'm just gonna look, bring it up here. It's showing, it's actually showing little green squares around who people are and stuff. So is that, is that what's happening? Um, are people getting that information sent back to them? Is there someone visually seeing this with those little green squares or is this video just an example of, of just making sure you can see what the camera's seeing? Yeah, so this is what the truck sees at all times. Um, you can have someone monitor this remotely, but the truck is already processing all of this information. Mm -hmm. So it knows like, these are people, they're walking in front of me, I should not drive. Um, there's actually a few things going on with the nets there. So the first one is the object detection, which is the bounding boxes. Right, so okay. that's, you can see there's like a box around the grader that drives in, there's boxes around the people, and there's boxes around the cars that are parked. Um, in addition, there's kind of that like overlay, um, and that's able to segment out like this is the drivable area. Right. So that's a, a you know variable shape. You never really know what it's going to be, but it's able to pull out this is where it's safe to drive um, in our camera frame. So if you know the truck in front of you drops a huge pile of material on the whole road and it wasn't there the last time, you want to make sure that you can detect it safely.